good morning children today we are going to continue first chapter is over second chapter you need to people around me in that we learned about the family members and i told you to color the colors for the egg which they are given in the basket i hope you have colored it and we learned true or false and um, today we are going to learn and also coloring male and female in the last class i told you to color hope you have colored it okay open a textbook page number 20 write about yourself means about you only i'll ask you what is your name no you will say your name so you have to write your name your mother's name number of brothers do you how many brothers do you have your age your father's name and how many sisters do you have this is the column they are given here you have to fill that in your textbook okay children next say hi to your friends and ask the questions given below fill in the details in this space provided what they are given here first one what's the name of your father you have to write your father's name or you are given the textbook you can write that also or you can write your father's name how many sisters do you have if you have one sister you write one if you have two sisters you write two sisters how many brothers do you have that also if you have one brother write one brother if you have two brothers write two brothers this is the column you have to fill it page number 20 now we'll go to page number 21 what do you say for the following people in your mother tongue if your mother tongue is kannada now so everybody is in kannada i tell in kannada only grandmother ajji uncle mama cousin brother means atte maga sister ella nadini grandpa means tata aunt atte brother ella baba father appa mother amma that one in your mother tongue if you are in tamil you can say in tamil if you are in telugu like that it is different your mother tongue you can use i told you in kannada only if you want to write you write in this column children this side and this side next fourth thing different words are used to describe different kinds of people match the words and to be description what is that that one four someone who is not afraid first one that is match the words Match the words. The first one, someone who is not afraid. You see the board. You take your pencil. Someone who is not afraid. is happy 
B. And smiles. All the time. So they are given four. Now in the, this part, first one, we what they are given? Cheerful, cheerful, and be friendly. Cheerful, friendly, and third one, see that is brave, brave, and last one, be shy. Okay, now we will go through this figure. Someone who is not afraid. For that, what? Which one will match? Who is, who is not afraid means they will be always brave. So, we have to put one number for this. Someone who is not afraid, they are always brave. Second one, someone who is quiet and doesn't talk too much. See, someone who is quiet and doesn't talk too much, they will feel shy. So, put two for this, they will feel shy. Someone who likes talking and helping others. What is that one? Which one will mark? They are always friendly. So put three for this. The last one. This person is happy and smiles all the time. She will be always cheerful. So put four for this. What did you understand by this children? Someone who is not afraid they will always be brave. Someone who is quiet and doesn't talk too much they will always be shy nature and happy. Someone who likes talking and helping others they are always friendly. The last one, this person is happy and smiles all the time. So he will be cheerful. This one you have to mark in this. I will send you that photocopy. Okay children? Find someone in your class and write their names. They are given four of them. You can in your, now you are not coming for school. So you can't find out. But in, when you come you can find out that children. Who is cheerful? Who is friendly with you? Who is very brave? And who is shy in nature? Okay? Lastly, tell your friends about an old person whom you know well. How old is she or he? What is her or his name? Do you have fun with her or him? Does she or he tell stories? That one you have to talk to your friends. What is that? Tell your friends about an old person whom you know well. Neighbors will be old person like grandfather, grandmother if you are no friendly. How old is she or he? What is her or her she his name? Do you have fun with her or him? Does she or he tell stories? So you can do that activity also children. Okay, turn to page number 22. What they given that? About Siri and about myself. Can you see this? About Siri and about myself. Siri has one brother. But what about you? In the second column it is about you people. I have two brothers or three brothers you can write. She has one sister, but I have one sister. She has a grandmother, I have grandfather. She plays with her brother and sister. I play with my brother only. Siri is six years old, but I am six years old or five years old or seven years, whichever it is, you can say that and write that. Paste the family photograph of yours here. Say who took the photograph, when and where. Introduce yourself, your family, your class and name. Okay children, this gap there given. You have to stick your family photograph and name. How many sisters, brothers? You should stick here in this column box. Okay? This is your 
class homework in textbook activity so we completed part 1 people around me you need to children okay bye see you in the next class